Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Andy, I'm a self-taught programmer, and in this video I'm gonna answer the question, what do I actually do as a full stack software developer? For some weird reason, a lot of people get into software development and they hear about this concept of a full stack developer and they look on it as if it's some sort of wizard who is has magical powers, but I really wanna demystify it. I don't think that being a full stack developer is any better than being a front end developer or a back end developer. It's just one different flavor. And there's definitely drawbacks or, and strengths, strengths and weaknesses, I should say, to each, right? To being uh, in one stack of that development. So I just wanna give you a sense of what I do and what it really is and what I think the, the benefits are and the drawbacks. By the way, if you're new here and you're wondering who I am, I'm Andy Sterkwitz and I help everyday people become software developers. I help everyday people become self-taught developers. So I help teach them what is necessary from a skill standpoint. I also come up with strategies for landing that first job. So if you're interested in content like that, I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications anytime I put out a new video. So with that being said, I'm a full stack developer. So what do I work in? So basically <clears throat> I work in the front end, so I you know HTML, CSS, obviously, along with JavaScript. I've worked with Angular and React. I know uh, backend language, C Sharp, that's my strength. I know how to work with SQL. Um, I also know other backend languages. I can work with Java, I can work with Python, for example. Um, I can work with JavaScript in the backend as well and using Node. I also have used um, um, NoSQL databases such as MongoDB, for example. So that's, I, I've worked in the whole entire stack. I've worked from the front all the way to the back. And when I say this, when I tell people that, they think that I'm just some sort of wizard who can just create applications like that, like snapping my fingers, right? When the truth is, it just means this. It just means that in the course of work, in the course of a day's work, I could be working on anything from modifying the user interface in the front end, right? Maybe making, uh, tweaking a form in the front end, uh, all the way down to I could be changing the structure of the database. I could be adding columns, removing columns. I could be migrating some data back and forth. I could be working on the back end, setting up new API endpoints. So I could be doing anything on any given day. I can also be tasked as a full stack developer of creating a new feature from start to finish. So let's say, I always like to use a social media site as an example because it's something that everyone knows. But let's say I was working at something like Facebook um, or, or on an app that's very similar to Facebook. Let's say you wanted to add a new feature where instead of poking someone, you could hit someone, right? Like you could fist bump someone. <laughs> that's probably a little bit better. So instead of poking, you could fist bump someone. Well, to add that feature into Facebook, there, it's very highly likely that you're gonna have to change something in the database. You have to ch change something on the server side. Then you're also gonna have to update the user interface to have a new button that's going to click to punch someone. And so I could do that all from start to finish. Right, like in, in a very small application, something that's very simple, I know how to do that based on you know my previous experience. Now, <clears throat> the reason that in a bigger company they may not have that uh, full stack developer who's gonna do that is because usually they have someone who works specifically in the front end, they're going to worry about the user interface, they'll have somebody usually specifically in the back end where they're gonna set up what they need to do server side, so in the back end, and then there's usually somebody who works specifically with the databases to make sure that the queries to the database are efficient. So that's why you usually have those separate stacks, but in a smaller company like I've always worked at, developers there are, are really supposed to be a jack of all trades. We're supposed to be able to do anything and everything. So the trade off there is this. When you're a full stack developer, a lot of my time like is spent actually Googling things that I don't know. <laughs> so like I'll, you know, there's really nothing that I feel like I can't figure out relatively quickly. And so that sounds great, right? Like, oh, I can set up, you know, I can build features very, very quickly, but I don't have that real depth of expertise that a front end developer has with their craft. They probably have a really strong understanding of JavaScript and as well as HTML and CSS. And so if you were to task me with building a really pretty front end, I couldn't do that. I could build a simple front end. I could also borrow very heavily, meaning, meaning steal, uh, styling from some of my favorite sites, right? So I could go to my favorite, let's say social media site and see how they've set it up and I could probably emulate it pretty quickly. Um, same with the back end. Like I'm actually, I really love back end programming uh, more than I like the front end. I just think it's, I think I like to work with um, concepts a lot. So in other words, I can see, when I'm working with code, I can see it in my head very well. And that's just easy for me. So when I'm working on something in the back end, if I'm sorting data and, and manipulating data in some way, it's just a lot of fun. Whereas in the front end, making things look pretty, it's not my thing. But anyhow, so like I don't have that depth of knowledge even that somebody who works strictly all day in back end has because they're, that, that's what they do all the time. 
And so again, I can figure out enough to get what I need to get done, but it's not gonna be this, that depth of expertise. And same if you go all the way back into the, the database as well. Do I know how to work with SQL databases really well? Yes, absolutely. I know how to update, create, join. I know about constraints. Like I know everything that you need to know to work with databases and to set up an application. But for somebody who works specifically with you know, SQL relational databases, they're gonna have much more knowledge than that. And they're gonna know, especially when something goes wrong with the database or if there's a bug or if there's just something that's not right, if queries aren't as efficient, that person who works all day in the database in the back end, they're going to have a much better idea of how to approach things. So having that jack of all trades is great because you could work at a smaller company where you are very, very effective. You bring a lot of value to the table because if the stakeholders or the business owners want you to do something, you know how to do it. Like you can just figure it out. You're, you're very resourceful in that manner. And that's something I pride myself in. I'm very resourceful. I can figure things out. However, again, if you were to say, Andy, build me a beautiful front end. I want to see like it's better. I want it to look better than all of our competitors. I would be nervous. I'd be like, you know what? I don't think I can do that because it's, again, it's just not my area of expertise. So <clears throat> being full stack is great. I think that I recommend to everyone who's getting into this to learn the full stack, sort of learn everything that you can because I think just being able to put on your resume that you know JavaScript, a front end framework, HTML, CSS, a back end like Java, C Sharp, uh, Python, and then knowing re relational, non-relational databases, just being able to put that in your resume, being able to show off projects of that nature are going to just open doors for you potentially. Even if let's say you were to get your first job in something database related, because you worked with SQL, <clears throat> that could be a springboard into getting into a developer position. I, I've known people who first, their first position was in something data related. They were just taking care of the database at a small company. And then they were able to, first of all, get paid decently well. They're in the tech field. They're able to learn on their own to continue their learning process. And then they transition into a developer role. So again, just think of it this way. Full stack is not better. It is not worse. It is just another thing. It's just another way to approach uh, this web development or software development or whatever want to call it. So I hope this video helps. Look at this. Is, I really want to demystify this idea. When I hear people go, oh, you're a full stack developer. Wow. That's so cool. It's just like, it's, it's not really, it's not, it's not really even a badge of honor. I think I have, I think that they're, the, the, the stacks are just all equal and it really just depends on what you want to get into. And there's definitely drawbacks and, and, you know, strengths and weaknesses to everything. So if you enjoyed this video, obviously leave a like, by the way, guys, if you are looking to become a software developer, if you are self-teaching and you are really struggling, I highly recommend checking out my paid mentorship program where I basically work with you one-on-one -on -one to get you to the finish line and get you that first job. So if you're interested in finding out more about the mentorship program, I highly recommend booking a free career strategy session on that call. I'm really going to dive deep with you and figure out what you're struggling with. I want to know what your biggest obstacles that you're facing is. Uh, we'll also cover what your goals are, what you're trying to do. And at the end, I'll figure out whether the mentorship program, if it's a good fit, I'll lay it out and tell you what it looks like. And we can just go from there. So I highly recommend booking that call if you're interested. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a good rest of your day, weekend, or whatever. Peace out.